Hey everyone, so welcome to Quick Animal Facts, r slash Quick Animal Facts here. Uh, so these are totally true animal facts, all of them 100% true. So first one here. When geese fly in a V formation, the reason one side may be longer than the other is because more geese are on that side. Which is always true, as you can see there is more geese on one side than the other. That is totally a, an actual animal fact. Uh, then two, for, for some reason there's a red dot on that uh, red side on almost the last goose. Next one here, number 35 actually. While bears kill 2 million salmon a year, salmon attacks on bears are far less common. <laughs> yes, you should not see or hear about salmon attacking bears. Imagine how scared they would be though. You just saw, like you're just out in the wild and you see a bunch of salmon like eating a bear. Just like attacking a bear. Or just be they'd, be, they'd be scarier than seeing like an actual bear eating a salmon, of course. I mean, I'd be more terrified of a group of salmon eating another giant animal than just one giant animal. Animal fact number 182. Brand shrimp do not make for good burger meat. No, 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 they, they would not. You'd have to have like, what, hundreds of them? I mean, brand shrimp are pretty dang small. I'd probably have hundreds or thousands of brand shrimp. I do wonder though, what would brand shrimp actually taste like? I mean, are they good? Are they as good as a burger? I don't know. Has anyone ever eaten brand shrimp? You guys let me know. I know a quick animal fact here on wolves. Even though wolves hunt in packs, they ca cannot be purchased in packs. This is because wolves are not typically sold in retail stores. I cannot say I've ever seen a wolf or a pack of wolves being sold at a retail store. I mean, I'm sure some people maybe can make good amp, uh, pets out of wolves, but I feel like a dog would be a better option. Uh, even if you could buy a wolf in a store, a wolf in a store, I feel still like a dog would be just a better option. I know some dogs are still pretty close to wolves, but I still think a dog would be a better option for most people. And number 28 here, on uh, quick animal facts. The majority of anacondas normally don't want any. Don't want none. Uh, it, and of course, I'm sure y'all know what that's referring to, the old song. My anaconda don't want none unless you've got bone tone. Uh, I mean, I think it depends on what bones you're talking about. I mean, an anaconda might want to eat some animal bones. But, yeah, I guess the majority of anacondas don't want none. This one is very, very true. Most sharks can stay underwater indefinitely, which is longer than most people. I mean, unless that person is, you know not alive anymore. Yeah, I'd say sharks can usually stay underwater more uh, more than people can. I mean, unless someone gets a brick tied to their leg and uh, go to swim with the fishes, live with the fishes, sleep with the fishes, that's the, that's the one there. Sleep with the fishes. Yeah, I think sharks can uh, stay underwater more than people can. All right, the pink fairy armadillo, which I've never even heard of, but it has one dang cute armadillo is most likely not a Pokemon. I mean, I think everybody when they were young and maybe, I mean, I know I still do now, I do wish Pokemon were real. Uh, I mean, that would be like one of the cutest Pokemon if that thing was actually a Pokemon, if Pokemon were actually real. That thing is dang adorable. And yeah, I, I really do wish Pokemon were real. I'm sure most people do. <laughs> well, when a deer is injured, it cannot go to the hospital for treatment. This is because they do not have health insurance. Yeah, I never heard of a deer or any other animal, for that matter, having health insurance. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that that's probably why they never see a deer going to the hospital, because, you know, they just don't have health insurance. And, I mean, you don't have health insurance. Who wants to pay the crazy hospital bills? Uh, yeah, I mean, I know I've never seen a deer in a hospital before. Uh, this is a... Well, T-Rex is no longer alive here, but almost all Tyrannosauri Reggies have never been to New York City. Unless they are from uh, from the movies, of course. I mean, that would be like the only T-Rex that has ever been to, uh, to New York. Most anteaters cannot make macaroons. Probably because they do not have uh, hands like people, right? I mean, that, that's why they do not make macaroons. I and mean, that's the only reason why anteaters cannot make macaroons, of course. Of course. Most pythons don't know how to code in Python. Scientists suspect that they are lying on their resume. 
I imagine that is true. I mean, personally, I don't know how to code at all. I don't know how to code in Python. I don't know how to code in any any of those those uh, things. But apparently, Pythons cannot code in Python either. I wonder, wonder though, if they can code in other other ways. Bears have the right to bear arms. Ripping off their arms would be very cruel. Yes, but I think you'd have issues trying to rip off a bear arms, bear's arms, because you know it's a bear. I think it would rip off your arms before you got to uh, ripping its bear, its arms off. But yes, they do have a right to bear arms because they are a bear and they do have arms. <laughs> there is little chance that a possum or opossum, if you will, is planning to break into your house and steal your kidneys, but never zero. You never know what they're gonna gonna do. You know, they might be playing dead, and then next second they might be trying to steal your kidneys. I mean, I'd break in your house to steal your kidneys, but you know, they may might be trying to steal your kidneys just by playing dead, and you go to pick them up or get them out of the street or whatever, and then next second they're trying to rip out your kidneys. You just cannot trust possums. This one, man, I wish was true. Despite what you may hear from the media, goldfish are not, in fact, made out of gold. Or in fact, not made of gold. How cool would that be if an actual goldfish was made out of gold? Just pure gold, swimming in your fish tank. Of course, you know, you won't be able to go to the store and pick them up for what? 25 cents or whatever for a pure goldfish. It'd be a lot more money. But you'd have a pure solid goldfish and that would just be really, really cool. It'd be an awesome display animal. Display fish. Lions often struggle to communicate with others. When asked if they are telling the truth, they will... Usually admit that they are lying. Ah, it's a good one. It's a good uh, play in words, I guess. Good, uh, yeah, that's some good humor right there. I don't know what an, an umbrella fish is. Apparently, it's this thing. Uh, yeah, it's a Chinese paddle fish. Uh, but umbrella or Chinese paddle fish. Uh, umbrella fish do not make for good umbrellas. Yeah, I don't know what an umbrella fish is, but I would not imagine an umbrella fish making good, good umbrellas. Uh, you know, for one, they're probably a bit wet, so it might kind of get you a bit wet yourself. Uh, but yeah, I mean, most fish are not going to make for good umbrellas. Walruses are not closely related to the banana plant. I don't, I don't really have anything to say about that one. Uh, but yeah, imagine walruses are not related, to, really re related to any type of plant, uh, especially not banana plants. Most dolphins cannot grow celery. My guess is because they are underwater. You know, you can't really grow celery underwater. That, that's probably the biggest reason why they cannot grow celery. A group of king penguins is not called a table. Nope. 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 Jellyfish cannot open up doors. How cool would that be, though? I mean, that'd be a really cool trick. If you had a jellyfish and you just taught to open up a door, even be a tiny door, they stuck in the water, that'd be pretty cool. But apparently jellyfish cannot open up doors. To spite its name, most mur murder hornets cannot be charged with murder. Imagine if you could charge any animal with murder. I mean, maybe some animals do get charged with murder. Uh, but yeah, imagine if you could though. Uh, yeah, but apparently you cannot charge a murder hornet with murder. A gang of elk has never held up a liquor store at gunpoint. Again, that'd be very scary to see a bunch of elk with guns. I mean, I'd, I'd be more terrified of that than seeing a person with a gun. I, I'm pretty sure. Because a elk with a gun would be, I mean, well, what's it gonna do with that gun? I mean, is it gonna shoot you? Is it just going out hunting? I mean, what does an elk hunt? Humans? Who knows? Who knows? Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video. Have a good one. Goodbye.